health care leader of the Tri-Parish community and with its Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at the forefront of cancer research and treatment, Terrebonne General Medical Center is a nationally recognized facility providing state-of-the-art technology and advanced services. Terrebonne General compassionately provides the most services responding to the greatest needs for our community. Welcome back to the program, and uh, just want to. This is the fifth annual uh, Ladies' Night Out. Uh, Rhonda was uh, recently held on Friday, November. I'm sorry, March 25th, to help raise money for awareness for those affected by cancer rights here in our community. And of course, Rhonda Alfred is here to share with us. And Rhonda, you of course are the uh, director of marketing at uh, Terrebonne General Medical Center. That's correct. Jimmy. Good to have you. Thank you, thank you, and I'm an executive member of the Ladies Night Out Planning Committee, and we have a whole planning committee that helps to put on this event. Yeah, and it's a great event, and obviously, I want you to, you know, if you can, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I know some people may know exactly what it is, but there may be a lot of people who don't understand exactly what it is. Right. Well, Ladies Night Out is a breast cancer fundraising gala where women can come together to celebrate an, um, an inspirational evening, and it's all to raise funds for cancer patients. And the funds do stay here in our community. Mm -hmm. And over the last five years, we've grown from 100 in attendance to 1,000 in attendance. Very good. So, yeah, we, we've had a huge success over the all last right. five years. All and right. all the funds do stay here in our local community. Well, we need a, we, yeah. we, uh, we need a men's night out. No. <laughs> well, we're talking about that. <laughs> okay. So right. we got to get this one done. No, I, I, <laughs> no, very good cause and uh, very successful. Y'all have done an excellent yeah. job with it. And I think we may have a clip a yes, little bit. Yes, we do. I'd like to. It's a tr it's a real experience, and for anyone who hasn't been to the event, we do have um, a, it's a it's a six minute clip of just kind of a collage of different things that go on, and I'll kind of explain when we get when we come back from the clip. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's run it, and uh, we'll watch as we go. Okay. Awesome event. It's called Ladies Night Out. It helps support cancer in our community. If you recall, about five years ago, this was started to help support breast cancer. And we started with 100 people, and we're proud to say tonight we have over 1,000 participants, totally sold out, and it's totally dedicated for women, and the proceeds go back to the community related to cancer and health care. You're a survivor and a fighter with the strength to be the strongest one for me. But when the pain comes, you've got to be strong. And when I'll guide you through, this is what I'm going to do. Survivor knows that it's true. I'm going to lead you there. You're fighting too, but when I'm leaving you, you can do this on your own. Hi, ladies. How are y'all tonight? Doing good. So why did you guys choose to come to the Ladies' Night Out this year? We uh, have a friend of ours who's a breast uh, cancer survivor, and she's one of the speakers tonight. So we're here to support her. It's her friend. Is that Tina Kale? Yes, it's yeah. Tina Kale. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the first time y'all, you guys have been here? It's the first time yeah. for me. First time for me too. What do y'all think you're gonna expect? I don't know. Lots of fun. <laughs> Lots of Tina's letting your hair wigs. Down. Tina is gonna be speaking tonight. She told us to bring wigs. Are you gonna wear those wigs? Absolutely. All of right. We're wearing the wigs. Well, ladies, y'all have so much fun tonight and enjoy everything, and don't forget to get you a cocktail. We would like to uh, extend our thanks to uh, the community for supporting uh, the hospital and um, Terrebonne General. And um, again, please come out and enjoy the facilities. We're great. Thank you. Is this your first seat time to come to the place no, now? this is my fourth. And how come you keep coming back? I am a cancer survivor, and I enjoy it so much that I, that's why I keep coming back. Do you mind if I ask what kind of cancer you have? Breast cancer. Okay, well, we certainly appreciate you being here tonight. And we it's eight years. Eight years, eight years survivor. And are these all of your friends that you have with us tonight? Uh, yes, pretty much all of them. All of them. Some family members too? No. No, just your friends. How many years have you guys been coming to Ladies Night Out? Five years. And why do you keep coming back? 
because I'm a breast cancer survivor and it's awesome cause to support. Queen, I'm Queen Tutu from Baya Blue and these are some of our members and she's Queen Babs. Queen Babs? Babs. Uh -huh. And today's a special day for you, isn't it, Queen yeah. Tutu? It's my birthday. Well, happy birthday for me. 45. <laughs> you are in your prime. Absolutely in your prime. Actually, 50 and under you wear a pink hat. Pink hat. And 50 and over you wear a purple clothes or a red hat, but on your birthday month you reverse your colors. So that's why I have red and purple, and purple hat. And Queen Tutu, are you a cancer survivor? Yes, I am. How many years have you been coming to Ladies Night Out? My first year. This is your first year, or we're so... Oh, congratulations. We're so happy to have you and everybody with you guys. Oh, well, thank you. Is this, so, you guys are all from Bayou Blue? No, Homa, big city of Homa here. Eagle Island. Eagle Island. Have you ever heard of Eagle Island? No, I haven't. Maybe I need to go. <laughs> You guys have a great night. Thank y'all for supporting Ladies Night Out. <laughs> Such beautiful pink colors. Why did you guys come tonight? To support the Cancer Society. Yeah. So where are you all from? By, By you all care. care. <laughs> How many years have y'all been here to Ladies Night Out? This is our first as a group. Oh, well, we are so excited to have you all. Thank y'all so much for coming. We hope you enjoy your night. Thank you. Okay. And you're right. you a cancer survivor? Yes, ma'am. Yes, how many years? I'll be two years in September. Congratulations. That is fantastic. And these are your family members? These are my three daughters. Your three daughters. This is that one, a twin. I'm a twin, too. Oh. I am. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for coming. You have three beautiful daughters. You thank should be you. very, very proud. And you guys should be proud of your, your yeah. ma mother as well. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. Well, we're here tonight at the Women's uh, Ladies' Night Out in Terrebonne General uh, with Dr. Gamble and Dr. Long. Dr. 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 Gamble, Dr. you have, Dr. You have Dr. something is, to say? Yes, Dr. Dory is here. He's just uh, inside mingling. But it's a it's an honor to be here with uh, every one of my uh, comrades, and we're having a good time. And you got to come out and enjoy all the uh, camaraderie. And, and it has been fun. It has been fun when the patients want to take your photograph with you. It makes you feel good, huh? That's true. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You, you know, it's absolutely incredible that over a thousand ladies have taken time out for our evening to come here and celebrate with us and this, the support we have with our cancer center just absolutely phenomenal in this community we greatly appreciate it thanks everybody all right what a great event i yeah, mean it, as you can it, see. I, yeah no no question about it uh very very good very Congratulations to all the survivors out there, right. and uh, really to all the people. How many survivors? Yeah, are in really, the and that's and their uh, families are there certainly encouraging them. for anybody that uh, that would have cancer. Uh, let me let me ask you this: uh, you know, being the great event that it is, what about the funds that are raised? I mean, how are they utilized? Well, the funds are utilized to provi provide care and comfort items to our patients. Every patient um, does get a care bag, and I have a care bag with me this okay. evening, and it has some helpful items, a water bottle, because when you're undergoing treatment, you need to drink a lot of water, some wipes to make sure your hands are always sanitized, and some fun things like word searches for when you're sitting there getting treatment, and an inspirational book, cards, and that kind of thing. Very so good. this is for every cancer patient. In addition, if there's a need of the patient, we, all, we do also provide other types of assistance like we've been known to help with utility bills or mm -hmm. having a car repaired sure. or transportation costs whatever that patient needs to get to get to have their treatment right. we're able to provide with these funds oh I mean that's fantastic yes. and of course uh, the Mary Bird uh, Cancer Center which is under construction right I mean yes. it's a great facility right. and it's you know moving along um, the completion date is set for July in July and so we'll be having a big grand opening and the community okay. will be invited Oh, very good. Uh, yes. tell, tell us a little bit about the evening, you know, what, what, yeah, kinda, you what saw, went on. And you what, saw it, some of the things, yeah. and it wasn't all in order, but, I mean, for the price of the ticket, which is $40, it's a great bargain. 
I mean, we had um, our mistress of ceremonies was Monica Pierre. She's an inspirational speaker, a radio personality, and also um, just a downright wonderful uh, yeah, person to have sure. um, representing the hospital that night. And then we had um, a local breast cancer survivor, Tina DeSalvo Calais, mm -hmm. and she told, shared with the audience her experience with her breast cancer and how our friends and family supported her. Also, you have dinner and beverages that are provided. We have a huge silent auction um, that includes many items for men and women. And then we had, a, this year we had a ban. We changed up the format. And um, Sharon Martin and the New Orleans All Stars played for us. So, you know, ladies could get yeah. up after the program and dance and hang out more with their friends. And then you saw Lauren Delhay. She's a 10 year old. The voice that this 10 year old has right. is just incredible. So she sang an inspirational song for us as well. Well, I tell so you what, it's a full it, night. Yeah, it really is. And, um, and I understand there's a special presentation as well. Well, this year we had a special presentation. Okay. Dr. Sarah Haydell and her 10-year-old daughter, Brooke Haydell, presented a check for $10,269 wow. yeah. to us. Um, Dr. Haydell, um, along with Brooke, conducted a drawing that was held, and she, Dr. Haydell provided $3,500 3, worth of treatments in her right. clinic, along with another second prize of $1,500 worth of like spa-like treatments, yeah, dermatological sure. tre treatments that help women feel better about themselves. And through the proceeds that they raised from the ticket sales, they donated $10,269. And Brooke had previously donated a thousand, over $1,000 right. to the Cancer Center. So they have really um, taken um, our cause to heart and have sure. really been very supportive. Well, I think it's great for the community and uh, certainly great of them. Uh, you it know, was. It was Haydell totally sure. unexpected Doc, yeah, and uh, it was Sarah a wonderful Haydell. surprise. Well, we certainly appreciate that. Yes. Um, now, I know this program has been going on for a while. Tell us a little bit about Ladies Night Out. How long has it actually been in existence? Right. We started it five years ago with just an idea. We want to do something to create awareness for women, you know, during October Breast mm -hmm. Cancer Awareness Month. And we started with 100 women and over, we went to 200, then 400, 600, and now 1,000. So we started um, at the hospital in one of our rooms, and now we've had to go, move to the largest part of the Civic Center. And I think it's one of the largest all-women breast cancer or fundraising right. cancer galas held in Terrebonne Parish. So yeah. we're very proud of our accomplishment sure, sure. Um, over the years. And we couldn't do it without all the support of our community and sponsors. Well, speaking of the sponsors, yes. uh, tell us a little bit about some of the sponsors. Well, we were very, um, very lucky to have a lot of great sponsors this year. I'm going to read them off really quick. Sure. Our presenting sponsors were Regan, Regions, Morgan Keegan Trust, our TGMC Volunteer Auxiliary. Of course, we had our media sponsors. HTV was a media sponsor, Charter Media, Sunburst Media, The Courier and Daily Comet, and Tri-Parish Times all helped us get the word out. We had the Shocking Pink sponsors, which were Kanata's Family Market, Lewis Mohanna Furniture, Mary Bear Perkins Cancer Center, um, and our ultimate pink sponsors was BK Distributing Company and Dos Lunas Spirits. Our hot pink sponsors were Allstate, Stephanie A. Bear's office, and Mike Steakhouse, Oil State's Skagit Smack Co. Premier OBGYN specialists also help us out there. And then we had the True Pink sponsors, which were Alfred, Staples, La Pair, and Robichaux Insurance, Community Bank, Homa Highlands, and Rouse's Supermarket. Pastel Pink sponsors were Ameriprise Financial, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the insurance office of Stephen called Derrera, um, Synergy Bank, and Whitney Bank. And we also had some special thank yous um, to people who donated door prizes, which was HTV, our gift shop at Terrebonne General, and the Courier and Daily Comet. And um, Blue Cliff College was also providing massages, chair massages oh. for the women outside in the lobby, and then Superior Ice helped us with by providing the ice. So you can see it takes a village or sure. a community to help get this production going and we're very thankful to well, all of our sponsors. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's just a great event. Uh, Rhonda, uh, we're just about out of time, but okay. I want, want to thank you again, sure, uh, thank you. Terrebonne General Medical Center. I mean, it, just the contribution that it, that it really that it really makes to uh, the community, I guess, it, it, it's just, I mean, unspeakable. I mean, it, it's just that large 
and we appreciate all that you all do, and uh, especially thank you. You do an excellent job oh, over well, there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, wait, wait. I'm, I do want to say, yeah. Go ahead. I think we, we have, have one our more. date. Yes. We have our date for next year, so okay. everyone could mark their calendars. It's Friday, March 9th, 2012. Okay. And it will be held again at the Home of Terrebonne Civic Center. So as the date gets closer, you'll start to see more information about how to obtain tickets, and we will definitely keep you posted. <laughs> okay, good. I'm, okay. I, wanted, I didn't want to forget that, and I appreciate sure. you uh, getting that in, and thanks to Jason thank Serigny for reminding me about that. Once again, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. All right, David Miller's going to be up with sports, and there's a lot going on. Don't go away, David Miller.